Welcome once again to the Computing Conference 2017. And we're still at the Kensington Hilton Hotel and the room is packed with experts. Another one is with me. Thank you for being here, Mr. Malcolm Ferrier. And he is a program head at BCIT. So can I immediately ask you what you're working on these days? Uh, sure, that's um, the, the, the paper I just finished presenting. Yeah. Um, I've uh, developed an algorithm that yeah. allows us to um, compare the total cost of ownership for software in a weighted scoring method so that uh, you can find the best software for, for an organization. So you may have um, uh, a customer relationship management software, some mm -hmm. sort of a system that you need to pick for your, for your company, mm -hmm. and this algorithm will help you to uh, um, select the software that best fits the customer requirements for your company. All right, okay. And so, so what was the biggest problem that you had to solve before achieving this? I, I have a, uh, a consulting practice, mm -hmm. and uh, that practice, we do a lot of software selection. So we look at um, uh, a company's needs and then hopefully find the best software for that company. Uh, the problem that kept coming up was that uh, if you're using a weighted scoring method, it's great for most of the features of, of the software. You can say yes or no and exactly. you're done. Mm -hmm. But with the total cost of ownership, you need to convert the price of the software, compare it to the prices of all the other options, mm -hmm. and then turn that into a single score. Mm. And that's, what the, that's where the paper came from. I was able to develop uh, a formula, an algorithm that could convert the cost of the software into a single number that would go into that weighted scoring, which would just give basically a number for all of the software applications you're looking at, mm. and the highest number is the one that you want to use. All right, so where, did, and where or how did you find that algorithm that helped you? Um, well, <laughs> I, I looked for it. I, I spent quite a bit of time. All over the yeah, world. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. Was, it wasn't there. No. So um, uh, I, I, I looked at what it actually had to, to, to do, which was look at the most expensive software, the least expensive software, yeah. and then figure out a range that would convert that into a single score. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, out of that, I was able to actually create the algorithm, which I then converted into an online web application that anybody can use. It's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's located at uh, espanalytics.com, mm -hmm. and anyone can go there, mm -hmm. uh, sign into the system, develop a project, and then do this whole process for themselves and all of the background work, all of the framework is taken care of for you within wow. the application. All right. So, and then you'll have a suggestion of what software to use. Yes. All right. Yeah. And is it independent or are you commercially funded for this? Uh, this, I, I developed this entirely myself. Wow. Uh, I did well look into monetizing it and commercializing it. Mm -mm. Uh, the issue there was the data set. It, mm. would, it would have taken a lot of um, either time or money to develop that data set. Sure. So uh, what I did instead is it, a, a certain amount of the work is kind of offloaded to the user of the system. Mm -hmm. And so they can um, use this as a framework to choose their software, but they have to do a lot of the legwork. They have to go out and look at the applications that are available. Mm -hmm. They have to compare them with their customer requirements. But the, the system itself, this ESPanalytics.com, will give them a structured way to do this. All right. Okay, I can see. So what's what's in the near future? What is the next step? Uh, well, this this system, I, I, th it, I think it's pretty much a finished application. Uh, what I'm working on now is um, a system that looks at all of the um, jobs within a project mm -hmm. and uh, allocates it based on uh, dependencies and uh, the priority of the application or the priority of the task. Uh, r right now, project management is all about um, kind of Microsoft project, where yeah. you look at um, all of the jobs you need to do, mm -hmm. you look at the people that are available, mm -hmm. you schedule them uh, based on set timings and so forth. That's kind of the current paradigm. Uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, develop a system that will allocate jobs that are uh, kind of, instead of scheduling them at a particular time and place, 
Um, it schedules them on the availability of the workers instead. Mm. And so that one, um, I, I've, I'm about uh, three quarters of the way through actually building the system. Mm. I'm hoping it'll be done by September, but that one you can find on uh, farrierconsulting.com. As soon consulting. as that one's done. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. about you. So, and, and, and now a prediction. In 10 years, what would you have invented then? Uh, well, you know, there's... Wild <laughs> dreams. Tell me your wildest yeah, dreams. Yeah, that's, that's a big question. Yeah. I mean, with, with right now with things like uh, virtual reality yeah. and augmented reality, Everywhere. Uh, robotics, mm -hmm. um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, yeah. the whole world is going to change. Like, yeah. uh, th there's some predictions between 40 and 80% of the, j the current jobs are going to be gone mm -hmm. within five or 10 years because of all of those developments. Yeah. Um, new jobs will have been yes. invented. Yeah, mm. and and, and uh, because um, productivity will probably go way up, mm -hmm. um, there is uh, there are a lot of people are talking about kind of a universal wage, where because we can develop things and, and create things, become incredibly productive as as a as a society, probably. we may be able to um, work less. And so, uh, <laughs> so yeah. I mean, we'll see. Mm, I mean, okay. it, uh, they, they, they talked about this back in the 1950s <laughs> yeah, with computers true, and how true. it was go all going to go paperless and we'd yeah. be working like five hours a day. It seems to have kind of gone in the opposite direction. True. Like people's uh, work productivity. Uh, work. Yeah. So um, I think that um, that's probably the direction a lot of uh, the work that I'm going to do is going to be going. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think I, at Currently, though, I'd like to see this um, kind of a new paradigm of project management um, being implemented. That's that's the current job. Good. Next, I think, yeah, probably uh, looking at um, productivity. Yeah. And, and what do you think? Do you think that the, the time people work will lower now from now on? Or is it also a false prediction again? Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's hard to say. It should, like, should. given given the way things are, are yeah, going, yeah. and 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 it's uh, possible. machine learning, right? Uh, the the fact that computers can actually take on a lot of the a lot of the grunt work that yeah. we're doing right now, we should probably have less to do, but. Given that we kind of thought that a while ago, and it kind <laughs> of didn't yeah, go yeah. in that direction, we'll have to see. We'll Absolutely. Have to see. And yeah. what will human beings do to uh, use their time if they don't work? What do you recommend? Uh, well, I think creativity, <laughs> is, creativity. A, is a good direction to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and maybe take a little care of each other. Yes, yeah, that will be healthy. Nice. You know, yes. spend more time with your families oh, and your friends. Good. good. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Starting now. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're still we're, uh, we're still talking to many interesting experts, and you can watch us on the YouTube channel. It's SAI conference. This one is the Computing Conference 2017. But we could also meet you later in Intelligis, or the FTC conference, or the FICC conference. Many conferences to come. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Mr. Ferry. Thank you.